<laughs> Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you happen to watch the first video. So today we are going to play this let's through challenge. I'm surrounded by idiots and let's hop right into the household which now consists of two members, Jeremy and Meadow, who we left somewhere between kitchen and living room. So as we remember, or I at least remember, Jeremy wants to have a wedding party and marry this lovely lady. But the problem is, I don't remember her working hours like when she works, when she finishes her work. And if we decide to have a wedding party today, I'm not sure she will be able to stay, but let's try it. What? What? It says I'm not able to throw a wedding party, only some New Year bash. Okay, okay, okay. Do things, take care of yourself while I try to do something to solve this awful problem. Ah, never mind, I was I was actually I was actually looking at the wrong option to choose from to throw a party. So since the party is not going to be uh, something fancy schmancy. I have these two tables. My tables, right? To put some champagne and this amazingly beautiful cake. The cheapest arch which is called I showed up <laughs> or something like that, which I found really funny. And yeah, these two chairs from the dining room, from the dining area facing the arch. That's gonna th and I think it's gonna be enough because, dude, what else do they want from me? We only have like eight grants. Do people still say grants? I don't know. Anyway, guests are here, but please take a look at Meadow. <laughs> the girl just wants to go to bed. What? Like what? A wedding? Not a big deal. Yeah, so here you can see me trying to make this party something that it isn't. Not a smoothie, that is. And I've noticed that everyone in this neighborhood is crazy about Gilbert for some reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, still trying to spice things up and make it funny or something. So there are only two minutes left before our not at all bad party will be over and I think it's the time, it's the right time for Jeremy, the torch holder and Meadow to get married. Finally awake and let's 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 see, let's look at this amazing casting. Right, so as you can see, I have this mode which allows you to choose what last name you would like to see in your game, and since Jeremy is, after all, a torch holder and he's a founder of this household. I decided to choose his last name. And 
while I was talking to you, the game chose itself. But that's fine, that's fine. She has his last name. And I see that Jeremy wants to go, uh, wants to go on holiday. We are obviously not doing that. Not gonna do that, because, yeah, it's a millions. And shall I say, one thing which I loved about the Sims 2 when I came back is that you can actually book a holiday before you have a wedding. So after the wedding finishes, they like, can right away hop into a taxi and go to a vacation destination and have like a proper honeymoon. A disaster? A disaster. Mm -hmm. Well, at least, at least, his wish wasn't to have a good party, but that would be nice, you know? Anyway, let's cut a cake. It looks so lovely with uh, butterflies flying in the background. And flies flying in the foreground. Yeah, let's put the chairs back where they belong and sell the arch while it hasn't lost its price. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Let's eat cake in front of these dirty plates. Looks lovely. Uh huh. So the party score wasn't actually that bad. Both Jeremy and Meadow now have like, positive memories of this wedding. Now let's actually answer the phone and see who's so stubborn. Uh, yeah, right. Of course, you want to talk to Meadow. stay here because we had this wonderful wedding where we didn't invite you but but you're still my best friend of course hi i'm chase since my friend metal had such a great time with you the other day i thought i'd see you if you wanted i thought i'd see if you wanted to go to jesus christ to go downtown um we're gonna say no for now because uh, everyone is tired they just want to go to bed well if you're so uncomfortable maybe you would just repair the stupid sink And finally, after hours and hours, probably not hours, of trying to repair the stupid thing, he managed to do it. Congrats. Okay, guys, so here goes the magic. <laughs> 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 
I just noticed that at some point it looks like Meadow is almost falling off the bed. It's hilarious. So during the morning nothing interesting really happens besides Meadow constantly screaming and waving that she wants something to eat and not cooking anything and she has this thought of probably having a baby and immediately runs to the bathroom to puke. Which I'm really proud of to get of the fact that she got the baby on the first try. Yet again, we get a call from Chase, who I remember meeting, no, actually seeing on the very first day of our Let's Through Challenge. And turns out he's some kind of friend of Meadow, who really wants to meet us, so let's give it a try. So at this meeting there wasn't anything particularly fascinating, except that Chase brought a bunch of teenagers with him, which is weird, but okay. And I noticed that Sims can have some sort of positive attitude towards someone they haven't exactly, they haven't necessarily met before. As you can see in their relationship like status, their relationship toolbar. Uh, Chase's picture is um, covered in this transparent blue color. You know, similar what they have when they get robbed by a thief. thief. And they have negative, like red color on someone's image. Otherwise, it was just a regular hangout during which Meadow, honestly, I think thought is going to die because she wanted to eat so badly yet she didn't like, I tried to order something but for some reason they stood up like they didn't even want to order and instead they would just hang around this bubble blower thing <laughs> and we finally traveled back home. Oh, look at that. Perfect picture of something I think we're going to see quite a lot during this challenge. And would you look at that? Metal. Metal? Just showed her first baby bunny. Oh wow. And yet, for some reason, she still wouldn't cook anything. And I don't know what happened to her. She used to be so smart and so bright, and now she's just waving and trying to get attention instead of just cooking. I don't know. So, this day we invited Titania, Titania to spend some time with us and to raise our friendship and do fun stuff. And Meadow showed her second baby arm. That's literally what happened this day. That's literally all that happened. 
So uh, one of the reasons I decided to go with a male founder first, like with male torch holder first generation, because I am going to switch genders throughout the uh, let's through challenge. Like the first generation it's male founder, the second generation is going to be a female founder. But one of the reasons I decided to go with a male founder first, because I had no desire uh, to struggle with pregnancy horrors of The Sims 2 um, during the very beginning of the challenge. I mean, just look at Meadow. She, she just eats and sleeps and that's it. And that's all she does like the whole day. And yeah, obviously she goes to bathroom. So since Jeremy is into arts and crafts, I thought that'd be perfect to buy an easel and then <laughs> right away uh, buy him a florist bench, right, as, as he wanted. And right after I bought this florist bench, he got this. He got a want to get a bronze flower badge, so he's going to be like a little state home florist. And by the way, if you didn't know, when they have a golden gold badge in flower arrangement, they can create these uh, snapdragon bouquets, which will help them to basically survive. And I believe we're gonna need that badly during our challenge. So here you can see him creating these little daisy bouquets and me basically just waiting for Meadow to give birth to their first child. And finally, here goes the birth, during which I decided that it's a nice time, it's a wonderful time to change around and make some room for the baby and to move a computer table and the computer to their bedroom and put the crib in this little corner and buy a plant, of course, I'm all about plants. So here it goes, here it goes. Baby looks so cute and has blue eyes, just like Jeremy. <laughs> it's a baby girl, and look at Jeremy. Look at Jeremy hating this stupid flower. <laughs> That's majestic. Okay, baby girl, just as I wanted. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna name her Emily. Uh, that's it you guys so in the end I made some some changes around the house uh, built a separate room for the baby because she'll probably be disturbed by the phone and the stereo so I built a little room for her and yeah bought them a trash can because for some reason they didn't have one. And I would really love to end this episode with 
the torch holder eating as obviously the food was the head motive for this whole episode. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe, do all that stuff. And yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye bye!